Ministers are entitled to take certain amount to take care of a constituency project in their different, uh, you know, several constituencies. And this is also a way of uh, bringing government closer to the people. This will also enhance the development, even distribution of development. This is going to touch down the poor of the poorest masses. That was the intention. But how beneficial has this been to the people? What has this been able to do? Has it really been able to meet up the, with the purpose? of uh, the policy where he, the intention of the former president, Olusha Gombasanjo. Up till date, we've, been, uh, we've had close to 2 trillion naira, you know, being uh, part of a project from the day it was introduced till now. And um, are we saying that uh, this is, uh, you know, what it is? Is there any justification for this amount of money? Spending or, you know, setting aside, given to lawmakers to ensure that projects are being executed and, um, you know, people are beginning to have uh, the fuel of uh, dividends of democracy. Well, these are questions begging for answer. And of course, I'm not alone in the studio. I have a politician who will be Joining me in the conversation, Prince Tosin Adelui. So I, I want you also to help me join, me, uh, welcome my, my guest in the studio this morning. Good morning, Good Prince. Good morning, presenter. Mm. Nice being with us. Thank you. It's glad being here. Okay. Yes. Uh, like I said in my um, earlier, you know, introduction, it's about a constituency project, and we're actually looking at how beneficial this has been to the masses. Well, the intention is just to make sure that the lawmakers are having a certain amount, not minding what their salary is, but a certain amount is set aside as an allowance for them, because when they get back to the people, they want to give back to the people who had actually elected them, who are actually, they are representing. But can you say, if you do a general overview? Can you say this constituency allowance uh, is justifiable looking at uh, the project and uh, the development that you can talk about in the country today? Thank you, the presenter. Are we, are we talk as a politician? At the same time, are we look at the <coughs> constituency project allowance as a, as a lemma? There is there's nothing concerned the lawmakers from executing projects. But the pressure on their constituents that we are put there for you, we want you to do this for us, we, want to, we need this, we need that, necessitated the former president allowing constituency allowance uh, to be part of to the be part of their project. Hmm. Now, if they, have make, if they have made the local government functioning effectively, there is nothing to be worrying about constituency projects. The lawmaker had to make, to make law to perform the oversight function, monitoring of agencies and super, fashion, super, super fashion of the agencies. But when they now go to a, a lawmaker want to execute projects, which is not part of their, uh, the reason why they are there. Mm -hmm. But because of the pressure on their constituents, that happened. But now, over, if, if you now look at it, you mentioned two point uh, two trillion there since the inception of the yes, of this the, is uh, in the introduction of, of the policy of the policy. Mm. That's not work. You cannot be, in, you cannot say in Abuja, and you want to monitor a, a project in Maduga. Mm. You want to monitor a project in Lara. You want to be at uh, uh, the mm. It cannot work. All these funds should be given to the local government. Make the local government functioning. If you do that, then the local government chairman at they, they, you can assess them. They, are, they, are, they live within it us. The people. We, they live within the people. Mm. If something that they have to, to have to do and they don't do it, mm. people can easily ask them questions. But if you are now in Abuja, you want to go and do pro, you want to go and do a brief project in uh, Alabata, uh, in Alabata, in uh, Jabata, mm. in a way, will you be now be coming from that place to come and monitor the project you are doing? Mm. And the local will do as if they are not concerned because in the process where they want to give contracts, they want to they want to do bidding, they are not involved. They are not being carried along. So they see it as if it does not concern them. And this this these funds is our collective patrimony. Mm. So I think they should look at it critically. If they want to continue giving the 
constituency project uh, projects, the policy they want to continue, they should look for a way to factor the low government to it. Yeah. So they'll be part of the maybe they want decision to give decision and implementation, implementation and implementation project so that they can they serve as a monitoring agency because the the the, the, the project is domicile. They cannot be a, 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 a federal government without a local government. So all politics is local. Mm. You have to get a word before you have a, a local government. A local government. Before you have a, 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 state. a state government. Before you have a federal, federal government. government. So they should look at a way of domiciling the project whereby the local government will have input in whatever they want to do. Thank you so much. You know, in the past, like you've said, uh, it is not to say that this is. Um, it is what, what you're saying, you know, stating the obvious is when you say um, constituency project is unconstitutional. But, um, you know, considering the fact that there is a need for government to get to the people, you know, to get to the poor of the poorest masses, was why the former president, Chivo Lusha Gombasodjo, then introduced as a policy, setting aside certain amount of money as, as part of the budget, budget to actually cater for that. But that's not where I'm going. There's been a lot of mixed back, revel mixed, uh, back revelations talking about um, how these funds meant for projects have been diverted. You know, where you want to remember the, the involvement of ICPC, you know, this is a, an agency that is also on board to monitor the implementation to ensure that these projects, the funds are being used for its purpose. So when you want to look at, um, you know, the, the, the number of the records of diverted funds and the projects not carrying out, uh, what do you think um, this, uh, what, what, what do you think should be done to, to caution this? One, two, you have mentioned the involvement of local government to ensure that these projects are carried out, you know, uh, you know, rightly, and it, it gets to, to 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 the people who actually need it. So, how, how do you now factor, you know, the need for uh, the, this constituency project? Can we say it should not be part? Um, or it should be, you know, totally stopped. Maybe government should stop giving constituency allowance to the lawmakers. You know, I will not say they should stop. Uh, given constituency project, we should just look on how can we redesign the entire the entire policy. What do I mean? Mm. When when I was a staff of Subeb, Ogusei University Basic Education Board, there comes a governor that when you want to take a project, you have to be you have to show capacity. Like they are giving you the construction of a four uh, class, four, a block of four classrooms. They will not give you any fund to start the project. You go and start the project. The, the, there's a way they divide the project into three categories: mm. the DPC to foundation level, from foundation level to linter, from linter the roofing. So, if the, if you show a, a, a non satisfactory level of job at DPC to, the, uh, to that foundation, they will come and inspect it. Yeah. When they inspect it, they will give you money, part of your money. The money that will be given to you will not be, it will not be enough for the job you have done. But you want to go ahead to complete the job so that you can get your funds. If they can decide the, I would not say they should stop it. If there's only way we can get from, federal, from our lawmakers, that will be general, unlike mm. people going to them, they want to do this and do that, they collect personal funds for personal, for their personal use. We should be having it. But they should just redesign it. In the, when they are doing that, they do factor so many into considerations. The, the way they release funds for them, like a contractor will be giving a, a job of one billion naira, and they will just give him, they will give him the, uh, the uh, whole money up front and nobody is monitoring the, the job it is after they have after about two or three years you will now people that are maybe some people are very very intelligent they, there's a way you track the constituency project so they will now track they will now start asking questions after about five or two three years we now start running after them the icpc and if icpc now got them or efc got them the money is taken to court. There's a lot of arrangement, bargaining, and so on. 
The money for that project will not come back to that constituency again. Hmm. Before we go back to the federal government post. So the constituency that have that project that is not done has lost out. Hmm. So when they want to do what they should continue, I agree that they should continue. If that is what we can have as the common commoners. Hmm. But it should be redesigned. Bring in the low government, bring in the community that want to situate that project at. Let them be involved. Let them be involved. And government should stop giving them the the whole money at upfront. Okay. You, you want to do a general overview. Um, we have um, the one or nine senators in the Nigeria, and um, a total of 360 representatives in the uh, lower chamber of the National Assembly. And all of these people get, um, you know, nothing less than, the lowest of them all of the class, gets uh, nothing less than 200 million naira in the yearly budget as part of as a constituency project allowance. Now do a general overview with this amount of money. Can you say this project is actually, you know, this money, this budget is justifiable? Talking about if you want to pick a cause, okay, let's talk about where you are, for example. Can you say the project is actually, you know, you can see it's visible, that you can see that, okay, this budget is, you know, justifiable? Yeah, the question does not have it's not, the answer will not be yes or no. There are some lawmakers that truly have the love of their constituents at, at heart. Mm. So whatever they give them, some of them even go a long way to add their personal fund into the mm. project. Mm. But some will not do anything. So I will not be fair if I now combine all of them together and I say they have not, they have not done anything. Mm. Consider my place now. If you come to Ogun West, I'm from Ogun West. Mm. I'm from the Kwafalo government. Mm -hmm. I am from Ila Alabi Ward. Yeah. So if I want to talk in respect of the people that are representing us in the lower chamber and the upper, upper chamber. chamber, I can say that in fairness to them, they have tried. But can we say that to all other hmm. lawmakers in other places? No. I was, I am in a group, in a group, uh, what's our group? Okay. Uh, constituency monitoring uh, activity. What that group does is to monitor the constituency project, level of uh, execution, level of completion, how, how was the fund given to them. If I start reading what we have there, it's an nice up. Generally, the performance is low compared to the budget, every year budget that we hear mm. about this consensus project. Mm. It's low. So if I want to, if I want to assess generally, we say that they should stop it and give the more fund to the low government. Let's have a low government that can construct road. Let's have a low government that can give an adequate health facilities. Let's have a low government that can provide school structures. I think we'll be fine. A low government that can provide water, uh, portable waters. We'll be fine. The reason why we are advocating for the project is because the low government is failing. Low government has stopped delivering on their, on their objectives. And it's not their fault mm. because they are, the fault the, the low government is not getting to them. It's not getting to them. But they don't have anywhere to cry to. They don't have anywhere to cry to. This federal government you just look at it. Now, we thank God that the president... I was uh, the, going to say that the autonomy has been granted. the autonomy now, is, so, is coming. Mm, so we are expecting it's something coming. different it from not what has been. It has not come. Of course, that's why I said we should be expecting it's something coming. different from Gradually the past. It's coming. Mm. When it finally comes, then... Maybe we will not even have any cause to be charting for uh, consensus projects. The mm -hmm. lawmakers should be busy with their Facing their, their yeah. primary objectives. Mm. Why they are elected? They are elected to give to perform make laws. to make laws, mm. supervisory roads, and other things. Mm. The lawmakers should be allowed to function. Let us go back to those days where we lawmakers will construct ten kilometer of roads. Thank you so much. Uh, it's, that's a beautiful one. And then um, let me now go to this fact. You, you had rightly said that not all the 
uh, lawmakers are actually performing up to you know expectation in terms of giving back to the society or the constituency projects, considering what they get as um, you know the allowance every year. But don't you think uh, the electorate too, the, the masses now have a role to play in ensuring that they perform their duty beautifully well? Because when you consider how demanding the masses, yes, the people can be to, you know, lawmakers now begin to pay for house rent of um, most um, people of their, you know, people from their constituency. Uh, the, the, some lawmakers will now pay for naming ceremony and all of that. And this is also expected to, to come from um, what they get as allowance. Do, I, I want you to look at it from that. Do you think um, the role of uh, the masses also contributing to the failure on the part of some um, uh, lawmakers? Uh, I will say that it is the government, it is the failure of government that has created a lot of poverty in the land. If government have created a, a, an environment whereby your business thrives, you have, you have access to basic amenities, you want to do your job, you have a factory, you have power to, you have an electricity to power it, that will reduce the pressure of the masses on our uh, leaders. But because so, some of them, not all of them, are not ready to work. Some are working, but the environment does not allow their business to thrive. Then they turn to beggars. So government should now look at, look at critically what are the needs of the masses. If government have now settled that, I know that the level of the pressure on our lawmakers will reduce. Some lawmakers, when they go there, when we want to get food, they will, during the election, they come around. After the election, you don't see them again. They will go and get money that when I come, people will ask me for money. And when I give them money, I have their food. Mm -hmm. So that, that, that mentality is there on some of them. Well, as soon as you vote for them, for the, for the next four years, you will not see some of them again. They will keep money because they know where I come from, the level of poverty there is high. So this money, I will keep it. When I go back, when they start shouting, I will give them the money and they will also vote for being back. Hmm. So government should not look at making people uh, make, let that pop, the poverty be uh, a common thing. They should look for a way to reduce the level of poverty. When you, when, when, that is when you can reason on your own. Somebody that cannot eat, he cannot eat one meal Most in a day. day. It is liable to do some things that you will look at, is, is it sensible? It may not be sensible because you have to eat. And you can do all you have to do to make sure that you can be able to, at least, to eat. Mm. So, the pressure on them that come and give up money for uh, naming, for this, for that, mm. they are the ones that have contributed largely to it. And they are the ones that will, will plead with them that they should help us reduce it. How? By providing the basic mm. amenities mm. that people need. A weather now that you, they don't have uh, power, how do you want the person to work? Somebody that has been to school, he has graduated, he does see job. What he wanted to do? Not that he does see job. He not even see a way whereby he can start doing something on his own. If I go to school and I don't see government job, it is not enough for me to say I will not do something. At least something. At least you can you can that. find something doing. Going to school does not mean that you have to get a white collar job. job. But you can also use your sense to see what you can do to earn living. But when you are looking for what you can do to earn living, is the, the basic things that you needed to do this, are they available? So it is, it is, uh, you cannot, you can, the, the entire blame cannot be on the constituents, masses that are putting pressure on them. They have their own. But our leaders also have a lot of it. A lot of the blames. Make environment. Let 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 
people that want to work, let them work. People that want to do farming, you now let me tell you, ma. Before the, this government comes, our farmers are no more in the farm. Mm. The full of their husband have sent them away. This government comes. They say they are giving people fertilizer. Mm. Somebody that is no more in the farm, you are giving them fertilizer <laughs> to do what? Is you it to sell? And sell it. They should just first let us have hope that wh when I go to the farm, no full advance man will harass me. We kill me. Wise we kill me. The security mm. wise. Mm. Now, if you now have that confidence that I can now go to my farm and do my job, is when I will go. But if you give fertilizer, I give me five bucks now. I, my children want to go to school. There's, they will sell it. So it becomes useless. It becomes useless. Mm. The purpose of fertilizer, which is a very good idea, will not serve its purpose. Mm. Let me know that if I go to farm, I will be safe. Then, then I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. And then, use the fertilizer. I use the fertilizer. But yeah. if I'm at home, I want to use fertilizer. I will sell it. Hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's a beautiful one there. And um, if, in case you're just joining us, the program is uh, Roundtable. And the topic is benefit of constituency projects to the constituents. And of course, I've had in the studio with me, Prince Adelui Tosi is a politician. We've been looking at it, analyzing critically what has been the problem so far. We have not been able to say that, OK, the, the constituency uh, project or the allowance being given to lawmakers are not also serving its purposes. Yes, you can also be part of this conversation and um, you also, you know, make your contribution when the time is there. Uh, we'll put the phone number on the screen for you to be part of the conversation. But before we continue now, let's quickly take this short break and we'll be back. Yes, glad to have you join us again. And the program is Roundtable on OJTV. Yes, um, we're talking about constituency projects and its benefits to the masses. And um, we have been able to look at a series of diversion from, you know, these who are supposed to execute projects, they get the budget, but of course we are not seeing anything. In just 2021, according to the revelation on the table of ICPC, over 120 billion naira worth of projects were diverted in just one year. So imagine how many or how much it would have been, you know, you know, diverted in terms of uh, constituency project allowance. So it, it, it's alarming me and um, it, it calls for concerns, really. You can also be part of this conversation and, you know, make your contribution on the program today. Yes, uh, Prince Adelui, you heard me when I said uh, over 120 billion, uh, according to the record on the table of ICPC, have been diverted. It's a fund, you know, that is supposed to be for constituency project, but definitely diverted and uh, used for or probably for frivolity or something that nobody can explain. So how do you react to this deliberate diversion? Uh, it is the same thing we are repeating. Instead of us to start pursuing people that have diverted the funds, mm. let us create a mechanism that will check people for diverting the funds. If, uh, if a contractor is being given a job, I know the, the, the standard is that uh, we submit the, uh, you will bring up the projects, the like project have executed in the past. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of a project of one billionaire, a contractor, a contractor has won a bid mm. to, co to do a project of one millionaire, one billionaire. Instead of giving the, the whole sum of the money, why don't you make it the payment in a segment in segments like the, the you divide the level of the work into three or four if he has fulfilled the first one then you can mobilize him to go for the second stage of the job is that now we have 122 120 billions that's a lot of money hmm. instead of now start pursuing them running after them so that we can have the mo this money back if, if you got this money back, they are not going to be allocated to the project of which the funds were diverted. So, bring up a mechanism that will check disbursement, the involvement of low government, 
the involvement of the community in which the project is domiciled. Let them be a watchdog for a project that is going to serve them. If you are going to give us, my community now, you want to give us a water project, mm. inform us, inform the local government. We know that the water is to serve us, not to serve the contractor. If you inform us, we monitor the project. In fact, you can even make it a condition that before you are paid for the next stage of the project, the community will have to sign. The local government will have to be informed and sign that, yes, this contractor has fulfilled the first, first stage of the project in which it has been mobilized. Mm. Then, release the next fund. All of all be involved. Instead of now using money, another fund mm. to pursue them, you will realize that if you ask ICPC, how much is being used to prosecute these people to go after them, you will now see that it's even double, doubling the money that is involved. Mm. So at the end of the day, we have ended up wasting a lot of money, funds that can be beneficial to the community, to the people. So the money is huge, but instead of pursuing them, let us have a mechanism that stop them, that check them, that reduce the fashion of the funds. Is there not going to be any punishment for this, uh, you know, lawmakers? Because uh, you're talking about funds that is uh, made for uh, legitimate, you know, you're talking about fulfilling your own part of uh, the project, and you are not uh, doing so. Don't you think there should be no punishment? No, you, do, you should not ask me that. Mm. Definitely there is a punishment for it. That is why the ICPC is prosecuting them. When they, when they did them to court, they found guilty, Mm. You send them to jail. No, we hardly see that in Nigeria. We, we, we have seen no, no. some. If, if you say we hardly not, see, not we are not being can, fair. Mm. Uh, we, can all, we can say that the numbers of people that are being prosecuted is not enough. But that the, some people are not being prosecuted is not true. No, I said we've not been seeing it um, measuring up to, you know, to that, yes. what we have. I, I said... It, it cannot. Has one Let me tell you, it time. cannot. Let me tell you. Some lawmakers, some at upper chamber, mm. senator, have a concept project hanging on his neck. In the next dispensation, you see him as a governor, as a governor in another state. And you know when you are now a governor, you have immunity that can that shield you from prosecution. prosecution. So they have to now allow him. If it's going to the maximum number years a governor can spend is eight years. Mm. So if if he's lucky, the first he has gotten the first four years free of any prosecution. If he's lucky again, he will get another four years, making eight years mm. free of prosecution. If that governor is also is also he can maneuver away because he present again. Mm. You know, if he spend eight years, that's yeah he, for good sixteen years to be free of prosecution, and at the end of the day, something good may not come out from it. Mm. So, what we can say, what we can, what I think we should do is to prevent them instead of waiting, for, waiting them for them to commit punish. the crime before we now pursue them. Push, punishing them. What one million, what one billion can do in five years ago? TV billion cannot do it now. That was why I asked earlier that can we just call for a total cancellation of this constituency allowance because it, it is not fulfilling its purpose. If you, if you, if you put it on a you know, scale of uh, statistics, you will see that um, it's actually not worth it. Well, what do you think? Yes, I think I will say yes, but that, will, that is when the local government autonomy is allowed to stay, is allowed to function. And they allow the local government to have funds that they can use to administer their, local, their territory. Mm. If that won't happen, why would why will a lawmaker in Abuja come and give me water in uh, my ward? Why? For what? You have a representative. Why not have a group, government. a functioning local government of ten? We have ten wards. If a local government got money, if you allocated at least in the every month, this ward got this, this ward get this. We can we be better than waiting for my lawmaker in Abuja to come and give me transformer. It's ridiculous. 
Let them be busy with what they are elected to do. May the low government function functioning. If they can, if they, they can, they, they are very, they, they are, they are funds that they can consult roads. Why would I be waiting for you? I, I know that the reason why I put there for you is to go and make laws mm. for us. Perform the oversight functions. Put the executives on their toes. Monitor the budget. This is the thing we want to do. This is the budget submitted. And make sure you know. Make sure they deliver on their budget. Yeah. Yes. So if the law government is in the past, we, you know that in the past, we hardly see all these constituency projects. There are some dispensation, the public before General Ambassador, before mm. former President Ambassador. Yes, it, it was does fine. not happen. Mm. If, if you go around now, you see some some road consulted by local government mm. that are still there, standing. Mm. Give them their money. Make sure they are they are they are fiber. Mm. Then you stop this nonsense that uh, it's now a canker home mm. that are eating 120 billion. It's a lot of money. Mm. The just 2021. Just 2021. Mm. The project that those funds are were earmarked for, if you want to do it now, you have to pass, you have to be in tribute of mm. that fund. Because it, things are and we use another fund of equal or more to prosecute them. So we are ended up wasting the uh, the resources mm. of the of the country the commonwealth of the commonwealth mm. yes um can you in all of this yes can you holistically say that um because we are looking at uh, what the local government will do after this autonomy we pray that uh, it works and it comes to stay like this, this uh, government of president bola Metinubu is determined to ensure that governments get more closer to the people and that's why oh we have this call from uh, bola calling from abelkuta let's quickly take this call good morning bola Good morning. It's not Bola, it's Shola. Yes, Shola. Bola, good morning. Can you speak up a bit? We can barely hear good your morning. voice. Good, good morning. How are you? I'm fine, Mr. Bola. Good morning. Oh, Shola. I, I just want to say a few words about this issue of the prosperity project and the money being allocated to it. I won't mention him because I'm not a politician. And I, want to, I don't want to complain for anybody. Okay. I know a senator from the constituency in Ogun State here who has been executing this constituency project in fact. If you see what the man is doing, you will just be imagining whether there has been anybody in that house who has been getting such a money and using it the way he is using it. Constructing mm. roads, buildings, mm. and even a lot of budget. Mm. I, if I mention the constituency, people will know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to talk I don't want to mention his name. So these are some of the things we expect from these people either in the National Assembly either in the Senate or wherever they are. But it is not happening. Mm. The federal government is spending a lot of money on constituency projects. But the senators and the rest of them are not executing this project the way it should be done. Mm. And it's one of the reasons why we have these problems, especially in the rural area. But I want to believe when you say constituency compared all those areas. Yes. The federal government has limitation. Mm -hmm. That's why they think these senators and these uh, national assembly members should be able to take care of the areas where they come from. Yes. As a lot of them are not doing it. But I give kudos to this man I'm talking about. I've told you I, want, I don't want to mention his name and I don't want to mention the constituency. But it's happening right here in the whole state. Are you so from <laughs> Are you from this constituency? That, were you able to do your analysis properly? How did you know that this is happening? You say what? Is, is the person, I would not want you to mention him too, but is the person representing cons your constituency, or you're saying this based on hearsay? Do you really know that? Uh, okay, okay. I know you want to pay my, my leg. 
to say something I didn't want to say. But I will say it. Okay. It is a worst sensorial constituency. The worst sensorial constituency. Okay. The man is performing magic. Well, you're talking about the current senator yes, there, right? About what? Yeah. Because if somebody is doing something that is not a recommendation, we should have to do it, but not hide it. Mm. That's the little I want to say. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Shella. Nice having you. Uh, your contribution is well noted, and we quite appreciate that. Um, thank you so much. Yes, um, I had to just uh, put a question through to him there because you know sometimes people come to say things based on uh, you know somebody said, and uh, so I want to be sure if he yes, really yes, knows yes, about yes. what he's talking about. Yes, yes. Like you said, you also mentioned some people representing yeah. your constituency, and you say that they have been. You know, I say I say that in my constituency where I come from. Now you've been lucky to yes, have been um, lucky to have the faithful assemblymen, the mm. House of Representatives that we have, the senator that we have. They have been so fair oh, in yes. Okay, and um, with, with them I cannot say that the concerning policy project policy should be cancelled. Mm. Because I am a partaker, I enjoy what they are doing. Yes, I have benefit from okay. them. Okay, do an overall um, because uh, when we want to talk about development of grassroots, we won't dissociate local government definitely. Yeah. And we are looking at the autonomy being graciously, you know, approved by the government of Bola Tinobu. This is own policy to ensure that government gets to the grassroots because the moment the autonomy is granted and the local government are allowed to be more functional then we will be talking about projects getting closer to the people but uh, you look at uh, this uh, general overview can you say so far constituency project has been so beneficial to, to to the masses you know want to have a general look at it we have 36 states in nigeria and then um, if we want to talk about Ogun state generally that's one state but if you want to do an overview when people are yearning for different development here and there it is it is no for me mm. it is no because when you now with the figure that you have put forward 120 billion since about just started the policy about two trillion mm. that's a lot of money so when we now go when we assess it holistically mm. we say is a no no thing but now that the local government, the, the president, uh, president, President Bola Ahmed Tinobu, is trying to give a local government life. It's like giving them life. Because life is almost mm. taken out of them. <laughs> we should now look for the sheer man that is capable, that have vision, that have capacity that can transform whatever comes because there, there are some people that even if you give them a lot of money funds a lot of money they will still mess up now that we're having the autonomy uh, you know stay down it's time for people want to contest for our share, executive chairman we should look for those people that can manage the vision of the form of the president hmm. the vision is the that the bola met nubo has is that he wants to see the low government functioning, performing. Now, let us look for those that are capable of transforming that we continue policy. that. We have Semi calling from Lagos. Uh, we don't like to... Oh, Semi Usman calling from Lagos. We don't like to waste the time of our callers. Good morning, Mr. Semi Usman. Hello, good morning, Presenta. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, our guest. Honorable Tosin Good morning, sir. So, I'm happy to be part of the program. Thank yeah, you. I want Glad to make a quick contribution. Mm. Go ahead. So my contribution is the intention of the consumer project is a very good one. Uh, yes, you had a good intention to have a holistic and uh, social development across Nigeria. Okay. I've been part of it before, but what I want to preach to the people now is the our political functionaries they have to be more sincere, open, and honest in implementing the program. The program is a very good one. We are not. I'm also from the West. We are lucky to have representatives from the Senator House of Friends and the Assemblyman. They are mm. doing fantastic anyway. Mm. But in other places, they are not uh, as lucky as we are. What I want to say now is they have to be more open, honest, and sincere in implementing this thing. Once a contractor is um, appointed to execute the project, they should monitor it properly and say, okay, the, what you are giving us, you are getting value mm. for the huge amount that the federal government has invested in the project. 
and the constituents too, I mean the people, the beneficiary of this food, they should be more informed. Mm. They should be away with the idea that, oh, uh, they are giving them money, there's nothing they can do. No. Once the project is so, it, it's not meeting the requirement, they should raise their voice. They should complain. Mm. We have people at the Federal Ministry of Work in each of the states, they should go there and complain that what this consultant is giving us is less than that. We don't want. We we'll see that the people will come, they will respect it. Mm. It has happened before. We have a project now that we say, okay, no, this is not what the senator wants for us. This is not what the federal government wants for us. We went there, and the director came, and they said the consultant should come back mm. and correct it. So the people should get more informed this time around. They should complain if the project is not. Then the federal government, too. How I wish they can be honest with us, be sincere, and let us know what projects have been approved for our country. Yes. So that we can ask them, that, okay, they, they, they said we are getting a hospital this year. Senator, we have not seen the hospital. What happened? Mm. They said, okay, we are giving out water in social community this year. We have not seen the water. So that we can ask questions. But when we don't have the information, we will not be able to ask. What we don't know, we don't know. Mm. Because so many things are passing by that we don't, we are not aware of. But once we know, I assure you that we have people that can ask them questions. That, okay, when are we getting the water? Tell me that say, oh, no, it's not coming this year. Uh, by next one, we come. So people should come out and ask questions. And I'm just told that things will get better as we uh, move from there. The local government told, uh, told me, it's a high hope for all of us that we facilitate development uh, in Nigeria at every book and corner. Because that's the only thing that's going to be available. To say, if I have to talk now as a professor, I will say governance is, uh, is I don't know, it's not progressive. It's not progressive. Thank you so much, Mr. Sam. You have made a valid point. Even if you do roads, you do schools, but the other is the case now. Hmm. So, yeah, so thank you so much uh, for the opportunity to center. Thank you so much, our guest, for your time and you. Thank you so much for yeah. being part yeah. of the conversation. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yes, in all of this, sincerity at all levels. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. sincerity. That's a beautiful one there. And um, when uh, he is talking about sincerity, it's not all about our lawmakers alone. It's about the people themselves, those the, the contractors in charge of each project. You know what happens to a project? Uh, you know, given to to a contractor and awarded a contract, and you are not delivering on it. You get the money, but uh, you you just disappeared and the project is not uh, executed. That's one. Sincerity cutting across. And another one is people should also get informed. Yes, on Obusi television every time there is a jingle we, we use and that's uh, coming from um, the NOAA, that's the Nigerian uh, uh, Agency. Agency. It's talking about taking ownership of the project in your constituency. It's a, it's a good one. We should also know that it is our responsibility also to be aware that this project should be in our constituency, then the information should be made available to the people so that they know. And uh, thank you, Mr. Asami, Asami for that uh, beautiful contribution. We quite appreciate. Yes, you were you were speaking on the general overview of constituency project. Has it been, you know, beneficial to the people? That's the question. You want to say something on that? I've, uh, I've said that just like the former uh, the former uh, Kola. Kola just said you talk about sincerity. Mm. Good. Some of our lawmakers are sincere. But the process of execution that if you say the like like there's a project going on in my local government that the contractor is doing a very shady job there. People went there to complain and he was telling them that this the what they can do. Mm. I know and I got feelers from the lawmakers that's in charge of that project that is not happy with what he's doing. Okay, why not because the same lawmaker have other projects in other places mm. that are being done. The, the, it's a good job being done, being going on there. Now we are, we now go back to my. If you are informing the, not that you will not, you will ask the people to be looking for information mm. when they are not being involved. Inform the community when you want to start. You want to give contracts. You want to when they are doing their bidding. The the final somebody has won the bidding. Inform the lo people. Inform the local government. Mm. They are the ones that have authority that they can go there and say, "Stop this job you are doing. Mm. Stop this job that you are doing because this is of no standard." 
and this of no value. Mm. But if, if I just go there as a common man now, I'll just go and make my noise, and then I will leave. If, if I write a letter to the appropriate quarters, before I will get a response, the time for the contract may have even completed. And they, it may even be doing yourself the service. They may run away from the site. Mm. But if they know that the person that is talking with them has authority to, to speak with them, they will listen to him. Mm. And if they know that the person that is talking with them will be somebody that have to, they will have to consider his or her inputs mm. before the, the, the next tranche of the fund is released to them. Mm. They will listen to the person. Because nobody wants to work and not get paid. But if you know that I will be involved when you want to get paid, you listen to me. Mm. But why you know who is this one? You're just talking trash. What's, what's your own? You may not consider whatever I have to tell you. Mm. Holistically, if they, want, if they want to make the low government functioning and they want to equip them, this character of the consensus project should stop. <laughs> and let the fund go to the low government. And, and then use the money. Then them use the money to to, to do to what they know what they know where where the true pinch is. Mm. Well, well, in my own opinion, I think the process of identifying the project approval is what is not uh, transparent enough, in my own opinion. And I will, can only wish and pray that things get better. We can only wish and pray that we get more transparent in our dealings. Whatever we uh, are asked to do, we should be more, more transparent. Thank you so in much. In addition, uh, before I, please, some communities are being given projects that they don't want. Because they do not carry them along. That's, that's another issue. It's when you give a project that is not needed to a constituency or because you want to do a do project, do. then you should carry the people along. along. That's another big um, um, area there. Well, thank you so much, uh, Prince Tony Adelui. To it's, it's, Tosin Adelui. It, it's nice having you join us today on the program. And it, uh, it's a fact that uh, a lot of people have been able to learn one or two things and uh, we know what we should do when it comes to a constituency project. Thank you so much. Thank you, Presenter. Thank you. Yes, um, like I said earlier, in my opinion, I think the process of uh, approval of constituency projects should be made uh, transparent and people should be sincere enough. If you're the one awarded the contract, make sure you're transparent. And the lawmakers should please, as much as possible, make sure they are faithful and sincere and give back to the electorate who has chosen them to go and represent them. The trust in, the, given to them should not, uh, you know, be, be made to be destroyed, sort of. So that's how far uh, the time will permit us to take on the program today. And um, I hope you will join us next week for another, you know, beautiful episode of your program, Roundtable. My name is Moreni Keji Shobaloju. Bye-bye. <laughs>